here uh, I'm here uh, with a new video I have recently uh, published my article on uh, how to check whether an element is in viewport or not so use neat and clean way uh, inter intersection observer API to determine the visibility of the element in the viewport okay so I have already solved this problem earlier but that uh, solution comes with uh, some kind of uh, drawback also such as performance overload so earlier i have used uh, get uh, bonding uh, by react so it's a get bonding client react method to get the relative position uh, of the element from the uh, each side of the viewport and there are a couple of uh, it uh, and i coupled it with the events and we i was able to uh, determine whether the element is visible or not but that was a very dirty way because uh, let's say uh, if i i had to uh, track the visibility of multiple elements so i will i would have to like uh, get the calls uh, done uh, multiple times a callback function i need to run the callback function multiple times and there are a couple of like here and there the element is going and let's say on on top of that there are a couple heavy lifting that is going on already on the page so the performance would increase okay so in order to solve this problem a browser vendor has done the their part actually so they have implemented the intersection observer api so this what this api does this api basically uh, used for this uh, um, visibility problem to, uh, it is used for solving the visibility problem okay so uh, as usual i we will go first with the compatibility check of the api so if we, you can see in the image the intersection observer api is uh, compatible with the chrome edge safari firefox opera although it's not compatible with uh, ie but nowadays nobody is kind of using the ie i mean the number of people who, who might be using the ie is very less okay um, and um, uh, how we want how the implementation of intersection observer so the implementation is done in two phase one is the first create an observer and second is observe the target okay so in order to create the observer we need uh, two parameter uh, one callback function and options in options there is a root and threshold key so root basically defines from a, a reference point from which you want to observe if the its value is null then it means that you want to observe or you want to observe that particular uh, a target uh, element from the uh, device viewport okay so let's say if it uh, uh, its value is also a valid uh, uh, element it can be any element on the uh, on the page also you can observe that element from there also but uh, since we have given the root of value null so it will observe from the browser viewport and the threshold value is uh, it, it talks about it tells about uh, how much uh, how much percentage of the uh, element is visible to uh, in viewport or is visible to with respect to uh, root element so uh, since its value is 0 0.5 here it means that it is uh, 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 only trigger this callback when the threshold value is crossing the 0 0.5 okay so the call and, and since we have given the one value it it can be possible it is also possible that it it would have an array of values let's say zero or uh, comma 0 0.25 comma 0 0.75 any number of any number between zero to one it is uh, you can put there okay and the callback is it takes the two parameter entries and observer here we will just uh, explore the entries entries means like if you put the number of element here it it is that just entry so 
uh, if the threshold uh, cross that one the one entry is like callback is invoked and then one that entry is like uh, invoked uh, and then you can just uh, see that whether the uh, in, uh, intersection is happening or not okay now uh, second option a uh, second uh, um, work is select and target and observe it this is the very simple i'm mean, just take a target document dot get element by id target and then observer will observe that target and that's all and whenever the user will uh, scroll up and down it will observe that value and correspondingly invoke the callback function so with the help of this implementation i have come up with the two implementation uh, two use case one is what if we want to check the element is visible into viewport or not and second is what if we want to check the element is fully visible to viewport or not so in case of uh, view, uh, element is uh, visible to viewport the code is more or less same okay just the threshold value is zero so if it is zero so as soon as the element crossing the uh, crossing the viewport it will trigger the callback okay and uh, check if the element is fully visible to viewport the threshold value is one so once the element comes to the viewport and it is 100 percent available then it will trigger the callback if it is like uh, 80 percent or 90 percent it will not trigger it as soon as it's crossed the 100 percent and then uh, 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 and reduce down to zero percent or like reducing from the 10 percent 100 percent so this use case is very useful you can see that uh, code is neat and clean okay you can create an observer or you can uh, have a, this defined anywhere and then just called it call it out anywhere or you can define it at the root label and then you can define the callback at any places and then just uh, view it okay this is all i have for this article that's all, I guess, and thank you.